Dan Hunter, a keynote speaker at our annual men's conference, shared a profound story about an emperor moth. I aim to honor his message by crafting a Bible study centered around this narrative. Romans 5, 3, 4. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance, character, and character, hope. The cocoon of an emperor moth is flask-like in shape and is formed when the caterpillar spins a protective silk casing around itself before pupating. Inside the cocoon, the transformative process from caterpillar to adult moth takes place. During this time, the caterpillar undergoes metamorphosis, where its body parts break down and reorganize into the form of the adult moth. This process involves the formation of wings, the development of antennae, and the growth of other structures necessary for the moth's adult life. After this transformation is complete, the adult emperor moth emerges from the cocoon. It will then need time to allow its wings to expand and dry before it can fly and begin its adult life. The emperor moth's cocoon boasts a distinctive flask-like shape. In order to transform into a flawless insect, the moth must laboriously navigate through the narrow opening of its cocoon after enduring hours of arduous struggle. Entomologists elucidate that this exertion is essential, as it enables nature to infuse a vital substance into the moth's wings, facilitating its journey towards becoming a fully developed insect. Attempting to alleviate the seemingly unnecessary trials and tribulations of the moth, an onlooker declared, I shall ease the pain and challenges of this vulnerable creature. With delicate scissors, he cut the constricting threads to facilitate the moth's emergence with minimal discomfort. However, the moth failed to grow its wings. In its final days, it merely crawled instead of soaring through the sky on iridescent wings. If only the moth had been allowed to endure its struggles completely, its existence could have blossomed into a thing of beauty. Similarly, hardships, anguish, trials, and tribulations are purposefully designed to mold us into resembling Christ. The temptations of today have the potential to become the strengths of tomorrow. Today's trials can lead to tomorrow's triumphs and today's crises can culminate in tomorrow's victories. Christians experience spiritual stagnation when they are not fortified through challenges. The refining and maturation processes may be gradual, but with grace we emerge victorious. Let's pray. Father, in the precious name of Jesus, we humbly ask for forgiveness for our tendency to approach you with complaints and murmurs during times of adversity. Instead, may we seek your guidance to understand that each trial is a lesson shaping and strengthening us for the path ahead. Grant us the wisdom to grasp the significance of these challenges in our lives, enabling us to glean the intended lessons and progress beyond the cycles of repeated struggles. We acknowledge that through seeking your divine help, we can discern the purpose behind these trials, learning and growing from them. We offer this time to you in the name of Jesus. Amen.